my friend. Welcome to the show. We are friends, aren't we? I've waited for you. I've waited, yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting, yes, and terrifying. But if you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. We can help each other. You didn't find anything, and so I've nothing to show you. You need to look harder. The cards are out there. If you don't help me, how can I help you? We're supposed to be friends. You said so yourself. Search harder. Only you can find them. There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light, if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Okay, weird woman. Is that the woman from earlier that was like running around the car and stuff though? Like uh, the one that, I don't know. I, I swear that was her. Chapter 1. Happy for it forever. You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. They'll get over it? You never know. Oh, okay. So I think we're playing as this guy now. Eh, that's good. They'll get over it. Yeah, well, I mean, they're just kids. You know, they'll get over it. Uh-huh. Like they'll get over Emma? What? That's not the same thing. Oh, so that's not why you're in a bad mood. I'm not in a bad... Oh, my... <laughs> You know what? We had our last night together, and we're cool. Oh yeah, so cool that you're never gonna see your special little boo-boo bear ever again. Jesus oh, Christ, you heard that? Oh, come on, dude. The cabin walls are made of band-aids and rat turds. Okay, I get it. <laughs> okay, quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey! <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Hey, who is this guy? I have no idea. Okay, guys, there's the seller again with the Demogorgon dog. Can I... I want to go over to the seller, actually. That's so weird, though. There's... Is it still in there? Oh, okay. Here, here's Justice Smith. <clears throat> Hey, what do you, uh, what do you listen to? <laughs> Good to know. Alright, let's go up the cabin. See if we can interact with anyone up here. Oh my god, we go slow. Well, I think we can, guys. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hey. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um... You know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's, I got to get the last bags in there. Come on. with this thing? It's just Dylan, closing. please. Sorry, bro. Cool. Thanks, guys. Bro, Dylan doing us like that, man. <laughs> Dipshit's bolted it? Really? Really? <sighs> 
They locked me out. Who? Who do you think? Ugh, we'll find another way in. Use your big boy brain. Oh, okay. Am I gonna have to go for the cellar? Over here? Can we go for the window? No? Oh, yeah, we can. That work. Skill. I was brought out of breath walking through a window. Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. Well, it's not gonna be a good ride for you. <laughs> Over here, nothing? No. Oh, it's a nice dead bear here. Oh! Oh! Oh, that sounds more like a dog. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you going to help me with the bags or what? No, nah, i got to stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! Okay. Alright, we need to get the bags to the car, but where are the bags? Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. Oh, here's the uh, bags. <clears throat> Alright, got the bags. Great, all by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Um, what about you? Yeah, no, what about you, huh? Oh, okay, so now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh, oh sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Go mischievous. Ah, oh, sexy, huh? How does that camp by far? Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby, okay, Nick, and then Mr. H. And... Okay, are you almost finished? Please. Yep, that's it. That's everyone. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't. Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we going to make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? Uh, Maybe I like it. It's just a fling. Yeah, maybe I like it. Huh? Okay, okay, you know what? <laughs> Maybe you're right. Maybe she does have, like, this superpower over me. But you know what? Maybe I like it. <laughs> oh, likes it. Check. Totally not in denial. Oh, Check. Okay. Wow, the um, the fumes of, of jealousy are just stifling over here. Excuse me? I'm just saying, I guess some girls don't have what it takes to hang with the big dog. You're a real charmer, you know that? Encouraging, seize the moment, or confident. Let's go encouraging. Look, I'm just saying, I don't know why you didn't make a move on Ryan. You should have seized the moment. <sighs> well, can't seize the moment that never happened. Yeah, well, you can't wait for it to come to you. You gotta make the moment happen yourself. Oh, right. Chase the moment around all summer like a dog with two dicks until it dumps you on the last day of camp. Okay. Not gonna miss you, Caitlin. <laughs> 
Okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> Steel roll armor break fuel line. Um, uh, let's break it. Oh, this looks important. Oh, shit. I will hook you right back up tomorrow, okay? Pinky promise. Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D -d 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 oh, Nick! Oh, God. Up! Got it. Boom. Oh. There it is. What the hell? Freak. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh. Freaks. Mm. What the? No. Freaks. Mm. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would've thought Mr. H could've, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is... Being dumped <laughs> in emergency. Oh, Ben. Um, you know what? I'm not taking of these guys. Back off, dipshit. I'm sorry. I. Peace and love, man. I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Y'all ready to bounce? Where is everybody else? Why? Why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. <laughs> Hackett's Quarry Camp Cabins. All right, so we're switching over to Abigail now. Who is this? She's a good drawer. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Got it. Oh boy, you're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Let's break in. Okay, let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? I'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One, two, three! Ugh. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. 
Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh, my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. So we're playing as Abigail now, and we're taking a look around the cabin. There's not really been too much going on, guys, to be honest, with, um, after, like, the start. How would this place be in the news? Freak show goes up in flames. Can't believe I'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. What was this? Ouch. Let's hope Jacob hasn't seen this. Let's go. Ready to roll? Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Finally. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No, <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what, you and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Oh God, no, go right. Nice steering tech. Jinkies. Did you just say jinkies? Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Oh, that's Emma. Yeah, sure. Okay. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When you get his handle, hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Um, nah, let's do it. We're not boring. Yes. Sure. What's the victory? Two months. No technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious, what can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The holy trinity. Okay, well now I'm yeah! ready. Oh, sub, no, share, love. smash that like button. <laughs> My favorite spot. The fire pit? <laughs> the island. Mad secluded, right? Is that smoke? Uh-oh. Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should we should probably, you know, get back. Oh yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you. Well, no, they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick. Waiting for you. All Everyone, same.
All right, we're with Dylan now. Hack Don't worry, Jacob. Corey. I got you. I got a full tank of gas. So, oh fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh idiot. <laughs> does nobody own phone? Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here, anyways, dude. Okay, this place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy. What? No. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up on to the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Roll. Cool. Ugh. Nudge. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need? Yeah. Can I? Thank you. Has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little... Oh, I forgot about oh, I him. Listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Um, let's be nice. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? Think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. No, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them, ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's <laughs> oh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? <laughs> it's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggit's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, so that bro. Was the woman from earlier they're talking about the hag of Haggit Quarry. Um, seriously though, you should have seen the first time he told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, uh, nearly done, Mister H. We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. We had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies with all his ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know... I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. 
What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Okay. He seems like a nice guy. That's cool. Nice one. Cool. Yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. Chris, I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh oh, I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, 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 it's um, it's just you know about the whole thing w with the. Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. Nah, I'm gonna eavesdrop, 100% I'm gonna eavesdrop. I wanna hear what he's talking about. I reckon it'll be the other police officer from earlier. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't wanna have- Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know it, I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah. Of course. Adios. Sorry, I, I wasn't... I wasn't listening. Oh, no. I, I was just, like, waiting. Like, I mean, I heard... Uh, I mean, I, was, I didn't hear what you were... Saying. We're cool, champ. Just... Come on, it's already pushed you out like that. Why are you so bad at lying? You, uh, you need a hand? Looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, whether or not I should, like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Dang it. Uh, let's be concerned. I like this guy. He seems nice. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy, if you only knew. <laughs> so, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan, you know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, with these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Got to understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. I want to know why. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. 
Uh, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off-season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short-staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left him. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. So obviously, if they don't get out in time, I take it the hag comes and she kills them. Cause like the two people who were driving at the start, Max and the Make girl, sure they're all ready. You know, sure they ran into that go. woman at night. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good, because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. What's the problem? Ugh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing Go, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. <laughs> the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, Come dude, on. chill. Chill, dude. <laughs> Yo, I just realized we sabotaged the car on purpose. Holy fuck. Everybody back. Now, now, now. <laughs> Jacob, wait, 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 wait. I got this. Oh god, no wait! Oh okay. Jeez, dude, I was trying to help. I just realized we sabotaged the car and we can't be here at nighttime. Okay. I just oh, messed this all up. It's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Okay. Oh, we're dead. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. What? Why did you just throw me keys? Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Bro, why don't they all just get in that car? Me, you'll do that. Um, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> we'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. So, what was that about? Yeah. Uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um. Are oh you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, <laughs> we, could go inside, like we could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or 
Bro, or this is like we mission failed else. successfully. He literally, we, we messed up the car on purpose so we could stay with the girl, but with Emma, but now we have to pay the consequences. Uh, we follow Chris. No, we follow Chris. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's he's not our boss anymore. P A R T. Why the fuck not? All right. It seems like the stars have aligned for us. No. Okay. 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 One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. No, we're dead. They literally want to go outside and have a bonfire. Oh, dude. Fuck yes. I'm in. Nick, you're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? Nah. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, Dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 D dude, dude. It's all good, all right? We get it, you know? You, uh, you don't want to disappoint daddy. Whatever, man. It's gonna be fine, man. Trust me. It's gonna be chill. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers, party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby, you will get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just I don't know. Figure out how to charge the phones for yeah, something. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> all right, let's do this. All right, let's die. Literally, we got a sniper on us, bro. I bet this is the sheriff from earlier that shot um, Max in the face. Or not. What the hell? Who are these people? Bro, why has he got blood all over him? What's going on? <laughs> Hunting season? Bro, are they gonna hunt them? Bro, I think they're gonna hunt the cat, the, 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 the human. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you found. Empty handed. You need to look around you, find my cards and I can help you. Where I'm from, we look out for each other. Find them, please. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but this is the hag, right? Wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. Oh, she's vlogging. In the great American wild way. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this episode of Corey here. That's chapter one complete. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on. There's a lot to speculate here, actually. There's, um, I'm, I'm still so confused on what's going on, to be honest. But I guess we're going to 
uncover it as we get more episodes in. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to get this series out as fast as I can. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please drop a like and turn the notification bell to get my next upload since I upload. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.